So after the plants have gone through their growth cycle, yeah. we bring them into this area here, which is called the post-harvest room. This is where we do our sorting. Uh, Benjamin Swan, a new generation urban farmer. He co-founded this high-tech vertical farm in Singapore that grows cold weather crops like kale and strawberries, unheard of in this tropical climate. I felt that this was my opportunity to do something that would make a difference, an opportunity to fight the good fight. Now, if that isn't classified as waste right now, what we do The 38-year-old grew roots here when he was an engineer with the Marina Bay Sands development and later at banks like UOB and City. Why farming? Farming right now we know is a problem. So not only the practices in the farms themselves and the carbon footprint around that, but also the logistics getting it to whether it's the ships or the planes, then the logistics over. There's a lot of carbon footprint around that alone. Agriculture is one of the contributors to climate change, linked to greenhouse gas emissions. Together with environmental pollution, crop yields have slowed around the world. And entrepreneurs like Swan wants to start another green revolution, seeding sustainable concepts to give agriculture a new lease of life. We're reliant on uh, techniques that have been used for centuries and whilst we are trying to bring automation and we're improving the ways we're using machinery and so forth, the thing that we can't improve is land usage. So vertical farming can solve that problem. Growing our kale indoors, we're 127 times more efficient mm -hmm. than traditional farms per square foot. You had no background in agriculture. Zero. Did you not think of the risks you were taking when you started the business? Absolutely, it was a calculated risk. So I did all of this whilst working full time. So uh, I'd finish calls with New York when I was working with Citibank in the early hours of the morning. And I'd go underneath my business partner's pool to go and take measurements of plants so I could understand you know, all the inputs and outputs of the plant, the diminishing returns on those inputs so I could optimize growing. And to be completely frank, for the first six months of, of exploring this space, it just didn't work. Mm -hmm. The numbers weren't making sense, especially on the capex. I mean, this is a very capex heavy industry. It wasn't until about six, seven months after starting to trial different lights, uh, different techniques, that the cost of LED started to come mm -hmm. down. And then it started to make sense. So obviously I started to push a little bit harder. Okay, Christine, so we have now entered into Sustainer airspace. So from this point onwards, mm -hmm. none of the air from outside comes into the facility. Okay. okay. After you. In the end, on the menu, a patented farming system that calibrates lighting, temperature, humidity, water, nutrients and air to allow crops to grow faster than traditional farming using 95% less water. In June this year, you actually launched your own vertically grown strawberries. The first time the fruit is locally produced here in Singapore. How did you make such a breakthrough? Um, just by trying, just by thinking big. And we know that Singaporeans love strawberries. All Singaporeans wait for the seasons of Japan and Korea. Mm -hmm. um, why can't Singaporeans have local strawberries all year long? And with indoor vertical farming, we can make that happen. Uh, we've just introduced bees into the space to help with the pollination. Right mm. now, all of our guys... You're introducing bees into the space? Into the space to help us with the pollination because pollination to date has been done by hand with a forensic brush. It's very laborious and you will never get as perfect as a bee can. So we're expecting the yield will increase a further 40 to 50 percent just by bringing the bees into the space. Hi, I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.